Are all those SUVs the same or they are somehow different? Why do they look same but also different? It's a bit complicated and I think the answer is proportions. Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the proportions of SUVs. If you don't know me, I'm Berk Kaplan, I'm a car designer and I share my experience and knowledge here on this channel. So let's talk about why all these SUVs look similar. I mean, there are lots of SUVs, way more than this. I just picked that 9 SUVs to show you the similarities and the little differences between them and how important proportions are. So in this video, we are going to take all these SUVs and I'm going to analyze them for you. I will sketch over them on side view and we are going to analyze six points together. All right, let's start with the first point and it is the wheelbase. The wheelbase is the distance between the front wheel center and the rear wheel center. This is called the wheelbase. While sketching cars, it's easier for us to understand the difference between end of front wheel and the beginning of the rear wheel. And to find that out, we can draw the front wheel and we can draw also the rear wheel. And between these two, we can fit one, two, and three wheels. This is a very rough sketching of course, but we can see that there are three wheels between. And here we can see it more clearly. Second one is the height of the car and greenhouse to the body proportion. To find out the height of the car, again we can draw the rear wheel first, because a circle is easier to understand the proportions better. And if we go up, we can draw one more and one more wheels. Then if you draw the straight line from the roof, we can see that there are around 2.4, 2.3 wheels for the height. The second important thing is the greenhouse proportion to the side body panel proportion. If you draw like one line here, which is X size, we can draw around two more for the body side. So the proportion of the greenhouse to the body is 1 to 2. And again, here we can see it more clearly. The third one is about the A-pillar. Another important point while sketching cars is the angle of the A-pillar. If we extend this A-pillar to the front, and if we draw the axis of our front wheel, we see that this A-pillar extension doesn't touch to the top point of the wheel, or to the center of the wheel. So it's always something in between these two. And here we also can see that clearly. The reason of this is related to the angle of the windshield or the size of the engine and many other things. But generally on premium segment SUVs, we see this A-pillar goes like that. The fourth one is about the C-pillar. So in SUVs, we have the A-pillar, B-pillar, C-pillar and D-pillar. And the important thing for us is that greenhouse, where it starts and where it ends. And as you see, if you draw a straight line from where greenhouse ends, we touch to the back of the rear wheel. And of course, sometimes it can be a little bit front or a little bit back, but general idea is while sketching SUVs, it's easier for us to finish the greenhouse at the back of the rear wheel. The fifth one is about the headlights and the tail lights. If we draw a straight line from top of the wheel, and the beginning of this wheel arch, we see that there is a little gap. Of course, this gap is for suspensions and it's bigger than sedans or hatchbacks as it is an SUV. And the relationship between this and the lights is the headlights starts generally right after this. And on the back, we extend it more and we can see that there is one more light space here. So the rear light is generally higher than the front light. Depends on the vehicles, it can have varieties, but mostly we have this rule because of the regulations of the lights. The sixth one is about the ground clearance and front and rear overhangs. If we draw the ground, and then if we draw a line between the wheel centers, then we see that ground clearance, this point is called ground clearance, and it is something between the ground and the cent wheel centers. Depends on the vehicle, it can be a little bit up, but generally not lower than this. Because SUVs have, as you see, like different ground conditions, so we need that height more than the other segments. For the front overhang, if we draw the front wheel, and if we draw one more of it, 
we see that front overhang is around like half wheel. And on the rear, if we draw the rear wheel, and if we draw one more rear wheel here, it's almost like 0.7 wheel or sometimes a little bit more than this on the back overhang. When we look at the analyzers all together, we see that they're all very similar. But that's why they are a segment which is called SUV. And with the brand identity, form language, details or the surfacing, they differentiate all the designs. Also on the proportions, there are like little tweaks. For example, if you look at the Aston Martin, we can see that the greenhouse to body proportion is a little bit lower than the others, as it is more sportier design. Or if you look at the Range Rover, we don't see that greenhouse rule because all this area is totally black, so we don't have the separation of the pillars very clearly. Or for example, on the Volvo, the rear light is vertical, so it's a little bit different than the others. But again, the point we mentioned before had the light because of the regulations. Okay, now we know the basics of proportions of SUVs and it's time to sketch our own SUV. This way you can understand better how to put them on paper. By the way, if you want to learn proportions of other segments like sedans, hatchbacks, sports cars or pickups or any other segments, you can download my template tutorial pack. In this pack you can print all these materials and you can sketch over them so this way you can learn and practice all different segments of car design. Also it's not only side view, you will see front and rear perspectives. Plus you will have one hour of video while I'm sketching and using those templates. So you can go to link on description to download your copy. Okay now we are gonna sketch from zero by using this proportion techniques that we learned and I'm gonna add some very basic shading at the end to show the volumes better. So I speeded up the process and next 4 minutes you will watch how I sketch that SUV. And again, if you want to watch me sketching for 1 hour while explaining what I sketch and how I do it, you can get the full pack on the link in the description.
So guys, that's all for this video. I hope you like it and if so, please show it on the like button and don't forget to subscribe me because I share about car design and we all love it, right? Yeah, I think so. And also let me know in the comments what you think about this video and what else you want to see on this channel. In this way, I can answer your further questions on this topic. If you're also sketching cars and interested in sharing with me, please send it through my Instagram account and I would really love to see them. So that's all for today and I hope to see you on the next video. Yeah, I told you before, proportions are important. If you didn't watch my first video about proportions, it was about C-segment hatchback cars. I will leave it somewhere here or here. It was a good one. I repeated the word proportions a lot, but it's really important. I mean, it's, it's really necessary.